Hello, my name is Anand Bean and today I would like to show you how to integrate um, external resources, legacy resources, synchronous resources with the application server, with the application without violating the programming restrictions or without starting threads in the application. I will use Java 7 for this. So I would like to start with a Maven archetype and um, the uh, group ID is called Java Essentials Archetype and let's call the project uh, Managed Threads, manage threads, looks good. And um, what I would like to do, takes a while because it fetches the um, Maven wizard from, from, from Maven Central and creates the project. And yeah, manage threads. And then I would like start with a very simple EGB. Uh, thread starter, we'll call that package com.airhex. It doesn't actually matter, but I would like to have a package. So, and then we could use with at resource, we can inject managed managed executor service, um, which is um, uh, which is uh, pre-configured. So I would use um, the method name is um, execute uh, async. And um, I would like to submit a runnable. So, new runnable and do something crazy expensive here, which is waiting for a second. So, uh, it waits. So, actually, prior to Java 7, it wouldn't be possible to do this because um, you will have to start your threads um, or, or execute your legacy code with at asynchronous, which would work, but here you have more control over, you know, amount of threads and so forth and threads creation. And, and by the way, the managed executor service is actually an ordinary executor service, but is managed by the application server. So then I would like to start a servlet, to create a servlet. I call the servlet uh, thread tester. Yeah, looks good. And I would like to inject the um, thread starter to the thread tester. This can be accomplished with at inject. And let's write something here. So there is a context path and then I will just execute async and then write some nice semantic HTML5 input, output, sorry, done. So, and let's see how it works. So, run. And let's see what happens. So, it starts the application server, deploys the application, compiles everything, and uh, we should see a browser with 404, because it was, I think, thread tester, right? Tester. So, as you can see, it was very, very fast. It took far less than one second. So, um, thank you for watching and see you one of the upcoming conferences, workshops, or even AHACs. And yeah, enjoy Java. Bye.